Alrighty, guys. Good evening, guys, and welcome. In how are you doing today? I think I get going here. I'm not feeling super great. Got a bit of uh, allergies bothering me. So, uh, we've got GHB. Haven't done that yet. How are you doing today, Kaizen? If I mute myself so I can, like, like if I get, like, congestion or whatever and I forget to unmute, remind me. Alright. Uh, I'm so glad we got uh, Tine and Ishtar and Skahawk and Chris yesterday. Alright, Hilda, Queen of Fright. Yeah, how is it, how does it said again? Tine said it. Hold on. Taking a nap because I have, have my bed set back. Oh, nice! That's always good. Good to have your bed back. I should probably check these all in my other accounts as well. Uh, this will be a fairly short stream. Because there's not a ton to do and I'm not feeling great. But we do have to finish or do, get the GHB. Uh, just check up on all the stuff, and we'll try to do Dark Guys Redemption. Did Leafy redeem one yesterday too? Let me see. No, maybe not. <laughs> uh, did I do this today? Yes, I did. Oh, I can do an AR. Uh, sure. So you know what, let me check, because I did get a... See, this is why my coins are split between my Nintendo accounts. <laughs> New sheets is not nice, since my old ones are meant for the winter, and winter doesn't exist in Hawaii. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, even, even in the summer, I'll still keep my coins. I'd rather... For, yeah, for, like, sheets and stuff, I'd rather wear less and then have more layers of blankets, because I can just easily take those off. Uh, see, here's the thing. I think this one's the one that's signed into my... Yeah, see? It's my, my Nintendo account. It's the, I'm getting the coins on my alt account here, and they should be going on to my main. Yeah, see? Hold on. <laughs> hey, Mitsu, welcome in... How are you doing today? This will be a fairly short stream because I'm not feeling super great. It's allergies and stuff, but uh, new bags. For yes, I did. I I, uh, I saw that. I got that. I got those pre-ordered this morning. Did you get any of the uh, the new Fire Emblem bags? Yeah, I was literally woken up today by a call from Japan uh, for something else entirely. And then as I wake up, I was like, okay, oh, he's calling. And then as I you know open up my phone for the first time, obviously it shows it. I get like alerts. Or like the notifications at the top, the banners. That's what they're called, notification banners. And I'm like, oh, something was tweeted by Fire Emblem's, uh, the Fire Emblem Jap Japan account. And I, you know, you get the tiny little thumbnail. I'm like, oh, looks like some stuff was announced. So as I'm talking to him, I'm like, all right, let's click on this and see what it is. Oh, new bags. So, and here's the thing. Uh, and and people like like me or my my friend in Japan who's the one who helping who's helping me to get a, a bunch of stuff uh, we're gonna notice this because we deal with a lot of like uh, transactions both in the US and in Japan me too I don't know if you've noticed this at all but the yen is awful right now like the US dollar is pretty bad right now but the yen is awful like it's com the dollar compared to the yen right now is the highest I've seen the dollar like in at least like 10 12 years since I started importing stuff <laughs> it's so bad that I'm like you know I shouldn't be spending a ton of money right now but this is the probably the best time to, <laughs> to buy stuff from Japan uh, the empire doesn't change my month yeah I'm like ah 
but in terms of uh, me buying stuff from Japan, this is like the best time to do so, or at least have stuff shipped from Japan, because it's like, ooh, I can save some money here, um, as opposed to, you know, stuff that I'm going to be having shipped now versus later, I might as well have it shipped now, save some money. Um, so here's the thing, because Super Groupies, which is the one that's doing these, uh, these bags, they have their Japanese site, which, uh, I mean, they have a proxy service so that if you want to order from international uh, locations, you can. But they also did open up a U.S. store, so Super Groovy's U.S. And in the past, they've uh, they've asked me, "Hey, you know, we saw that you uh, you know ordered our entire Fire Emblem line. Awesome, thanks. Just a heads up, we have the Super Groovy's U.S. site in case you want to save on shipping and don't have to pay extra for a proxy next time." And I'm like, "Cool, I'll keep that in mind." Um, here's the thing, though. The bags are 14,000, I think, 14,300 yen each on the Japanese website. And Super Groupies US has them priced at $130 each. 14,300 yen right now in dollars comes out to about $110. So I saved 20 bucks per bag. Um, have it all shipped to uh, the proxy service that I use. I'll probably end up paying like Seventy dollars in shipping, which uh, when that comes down to it, that's like what? That's eight hundred fifty total versus over nine hundred if I were to buy it. And that's not that's over nine hundred before shipping, buying it through Super Groupies US. So that's, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not saving a ton, but uh, it's still you know good chunk of change there. I like how I sit through the bag is unisex style. Yeah, a lot of them are actually pretty pretty cool. Um, although I will say this. I own a lot more bags and purses than I ever thought I would own. Uh, thanks to Fire Emblem. I do like, I really do like the designs though. So I, we could probably look at those in a bit here if we uh, have time. I do like how they put the initials of the characters on the bags. That was kind of cool. Uh, if I had money, maybe I'd take advantage of that. But unfortunately, I do not. I, yeah, I hear that. Again, I, I, I don't have a ton to, to spend at the moment. But anything that, especially stuff that was supposed to have, be, was supposed to be shipped, um, for a while now that's sitting in Japan, rather than wait, now's a good time to do it, because the yen is really weak. Uh, not into fur, but the Sylvain bag is fancy enough that I can use for formal gatherings. Yeah, they're all really good designs. Uh, also, the Linhart bag is nice. They're all yeah, they're all nice. They're all nice. Yeah, so I did I did order all of them uh, this morning. So I did I did end up going through the Japanese site, so that all and the cool thing with the Japanese site is that they ship it uh, as soon as you know the actual company has it, Super Groupies. So that will ship in mid September. Super Groupies US is usually about a month behind uh, the Japanese site. So they're not shipping their uh, allotments until October. So I in this case I get it a little cheaper, a little a little faster. So Alright, so why am I getting See, these should be separate accounts entirely anyway. These are separate Nintendo accounts. <laughs> but I didn't claim these on my main here. Let's collect points. Why... Can't I collect the points? Should I, like, re-sign in or something? <laughs> Refresh, maybe. Uh, didn't have much money before, and especially don't after spending 120 on cardboard. My love of lore will be my my downfall. Just wish they have another run of earlier Effie merch. Like I so badly want the Chrome backpack. I mean, if you can convince me, I might have an extra. <laughs> but see, I don't, why is this not letting me collect the points? This is I see. Okay, I these should be entirely separate Nintendo accounts, and my hmm. I don't know how long I've had these 300. Is Game Center shared across devices? It is. <laughs> Should I just log, re-log in on my phone? Yeah, Game Center's implementation is kind of awful. <laughs> uh, I don't know why it's still a thing. But they haven't ditched it yet or revamped it. Uh, hey, Atri, because you didn't take it within the 30-day period. No, this this chapter just came out. <laughs> There's no point. No, this chapter just came out. <laughs> this was yesterday. 
Uh, face uh, face time concern. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, should I just log back out and log back in? We welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope everyone's feeling better than I am. I'm I'm, I'm okay. I'm just I'm feeling congested because it seems to be allergies. It's been gradually getting worse since I stepped out the door today. Uh, tried to take a nap after Nanonator stream, but it helped a little bit, but try and get a little bit more sleep. Too. And uh, Usually my allergies hit a little bit harder if I don't get enough sleep the previous night, uh, which I didn't. <laughs> In my defense, Terra was finishing Reading Dawn, so... Hey, what are we doing? Grand Hero Battle, let's do this. I'll figure out the Game Center stuff later. Uh, uh, but, how you doing, Atri? How you doing, Weeb? Oh, I'm on allergy meds for f four days now. I mean, I try and avoid the meds if I if I can help it. <laughs> um, but I I can take allergy medication if I need to. So the sudden ooh rash, ew. it's not fun. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to check how we say the, the country name because my uh, I'll check it after this. Tells you was a waste of space. I made her life miserable, and I would do it again. Right. Uh. Ooh, you know what I? Okay, so I wonder if the genealogy maps, like, if you were to line them all up, would it? That would be really cool because that's basically what they do in genealogy of the Holy War. If you were to put them all like next to each other or overlapping each other, it'd be real cool if it was like one big design. My intern. Uh, PSAT testing was so boring. I gave. Don't give up on the math part, just because it's boring. Leave it to me. All right, we're just gonna have. Uh, yes. It'll just demolish everything. Who's got saves? Is that you? That's you. We gotta take out the range unit though, because I'm gonna. Out of my way. One, what? two, yes. three. I will give it my all. Uh, not my first choice. I understand. There we go. This will do it. Or not. Uh. Yes. Out of my way. There we go. And I can't say good because I'm sick. You're sick. I have allergies, so I'm not like sick, sick. But what is it now? You require my aid. Fine. Suppose I have to do everything myself. Uh, let's see. Looking forward to having a good Renee now. I may make her a real project. Something nice. I don't anything of it. So I was able to use Ishtar Dancer, Ishtar Dancer, Ethelin, and Dorothea Lean to slaughter this map. Uh, it was very cathartic having Ishtar take down her horde mom. Uh, I'm too stupid for that. No, you, you gotta take it anyway. You gotta take it. Yeah, I, actually, I did think about that. I was like, should I use, like, a theme team to do the GHB? But I'm like, eh, whatever. It's fine. I did see a lot of people were doing that, too, though. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, before I go in, because Tine says the country name. Oh, I gotta finish leveling her up. I usually don't level up characters until like the weekend for the bonus, but I was like, I want to level these up now. Um, this pendant, it's a memento. I carry it always. Mother, watch over me. I will make Hilda regret what she did to us. <laughs> huh? You must have me confused with someone else. I'm Tine. Have you met Arthur? He's my brother. Friga may be my home. Friga. I don't feel any fondness for it. Maybe that will change someday. So, Friga. Okay. Um. I am Hilda of House Veltomer. Just like the Imperial family. Veltomer. Gotta remember that. If the Lord Julius were to make Ishtar his princess, what a wonderful match that would be. <laughs> keep your hands to yourself if you hope to keep your hands at all. <sighs> 
Keep your hands to yourself, if you hope to keep your hands at all. I am Hilda of House Feltomer. Just like the Imperial family. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the artwork. Gee, the rest of the artwork seems okay. I think it's the shading, like, above her chin. It just seems very pronounced. I think that's the part that seems off to me. Uh, let me mark this so I don't... So what I do now is I keep the, G the three star GHBs because those um, I mean we do get more than one when they do reruns but uh, there's no other way for us to get three star GHBs aside from the actual GHB and those rerun quests so I keep one of those uh, let's keep doing more I do. let's see I was able to beat the flower map without having to promote Hilda by having Ethelin kill Hilda okay uh, I don't understand the question, so I had to guess each one. Well, you should you should work on learning those. So I don't know how I'm gonna handle quest of killing Hilda with Hilda when her rerun happens without promoting her. Uh, she has a five star voice line that the VA nailed about revenge. Oh, the level forty conversation. Uh, oh wait, five star voice line. What do you mean? Do they have separate voice lines when they're a five star? It's impressive since the VA had apparently mainly done audiobooks before this. She gives me Petine, uh, oh, Petrine vibes. I've seen people make that kind of comparison. What? Sorry for the sniffles. My orders? Oh my, okay. Yes. Out of my way. Wait for me. Are you sure? Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. I understand. Wow. Mm, yes. What? It's because of this guy. We do one damage. Leave it to me. Yes. <clears throat> yes. I will give it my all. Out of my way. Alright, so we gotta use uh Rebecca to take out the save knight. Uh no, one of the voice lines and yes voice lines are added at the higher star uh added the higher star the unit is. Is that any info to you? I usually never check the voice lines unless like there's a reason to. And that way since lost, that's good to know. See, there's a reason why I keep my five stars, guys. That I didn't know. Uh, Alright, so we got the four star. Oh, we thank you for the hydrate. Appreciate that. Again, if you just came in, guys, uh, this will be a fairly short stream. Because I'm not feeling great because of allergies, but... Uh, We're gonna finish the GHB here. We're gonna do Dark Eyes request. Have a range unit on you. He looks annoying. Yeah, he does look annoying. Uh, a range unit might not be a bad idea. Let's see if we can do it with the team we got first. Because, um, yes. yeah, Bray Barrick has already taken quite a bit of damage, so I don't know if she'll survive. We'll see. I'm trying to have a. Uh... Ooh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Again, we can probably take these two out pretty easily. Okay, we should be okay. Yes. Uh, they had more voice lines when you upgrade them. Every voice line in the game is also on the Fey Wiki, which is how I usually hear them for units that don't. Oh, okay. I know there's someone from the. That you, I, I, I know them from the Fey Reddit, but uh, apparently they have a YouTube channel where they kind of just upload all the, the voice lines. Uh, Xanak. I think I helped them out with some stuff before. I can't remember what, but what? I think they upload usually most of the, the voice lines and stuff. Yes. Out of my way. 
to be by his side. there, so that uh, I understand. We're in range of the bridal catria. Okay. Well, I can take out this guy pretty easily now. Yes. Oh, we don't have. Oh, wait, we do have Mystic Bliss. I'm like, wait a second. What? Are you sure? Not really, but. Well. Give it to me. Should I retreat and play it safe for now? I feel like I... Let's, uh... Zanak does a lot of voice line and shows off kits of GHPs. Leave it to me. Okay. Well, that sounds handy. Not my first choice. I think there's only a range of both of them, which is not ideal. Out of my way. But we'll pull back me. for a little bit here and see. Yes. Okay, so we took out Hilda at least. What? Out of my way to be by his side. My orders? Leave it to me. Ooh, yikes. Yesterday I got Arthur both in my free summons, in my free account. Oh, nice! Congrats! We got uh, everyone except Arthur. <laughs> I think. Wait. Ishtar, Tine, Skahak, and then we're getting Hilda now. Yeah, we got everyone except Arthur. I would like to get Arthur. I can make like a whole like Tale 2 family team. Uh, it was beer welcome in. Everyone is facing the wrong side in this map. <laughs> That's funny. It's like, we're gonna we're gonna face away from the enemy. Maybe they won't see us. It's like it's like the boo in Mario 3. Oh, and Mario 2. No, Mario 3. Or any Mario. You face face away, they'll come at you, but then if you face them, they stop. Yes. How you doing, Isbear? We just did our GHB battles. This will be a fairly short stream because I'm not feeling although I am actually feeling better than I did at the start of the stream. They also show resplendent voice lines early. Like, we have all of Sabres. Okay. Well, aren't those on, like, the website, though? You can just check the website. I'm surprised I didn't fill up my barracks again. Uh, so this one I'll keep at uh, there for now. I'm, I don't need to rush. But this one, I'm, I'm going to work to promote that one. Just so I can unlock that level 40 uh, conversation. So for GHBs, I'll always at least promote one, or at least... So I use the yellow start to be like, okay, I gotta promote them. I don't have to do it now, but I gotta promote them. Um, so you can see here... So these are some of the ones... You can see some of the uh, four, three and four stars that I yet to have a uh, five star. So I'm gonna promote those at some point, but again, not in a rush. Uh, but the GHBs, they'll take priority. So like, for example, I'll level up Hilda uh, later this weekend. And a promoter. Back to three stars. You're joining me too. Am I? Wait, I'm joining you too. On your like home screen. <laughs> Only two of the voice lines for respondents are. Oh, okay. Why didn't you change the labels of the color hearts? I probably could. I've changed these around before too, but it's fine. I don't. I, I remember what each one was. I don't. Or each one is. I don't really need to. So, for example, I'll use yellow for um, ones that I want to promote to five star at some point. So that way I can distinguish them. Uh, blue I use uh, for, for example, like neutral IVs and stuff like that. Purple I generally use for units that, um, it's basically just a reminder to myself, hey, don't waste time leveling these up. Either they have bad IVs, so you're hoping for a better one at, at some point, or you already have a good one of that unit with good IVs, so this one's going to be either skill or merge fodder, so don't bother leveling them up, stuff like that, so. Yellow Star Pog. Yeah, Yellow Star basically just means that I'm going to level, uh, or promote Hilda to 5 star, uh, when I can. Uh, I'm curious what I'll, well, because I know I've asked you guys this before, maybe not all of you specifically in the chat, but I've asked our community before, hey, what do you, uh, how do you sort your favorite system? Like, what do you use? Um, because I was looking for ideas before. Uh, green I generally use for, like, oh, this, these are good IVs, uh, for this character. 
uh, light blue I use for OK IVs. So we got the GHB unit. Uh, we're gonna do Dark Eyes AR map, although the season already started, so I'm assuming. Oh, I lost a battle. Rip. Ah, oh, I defeated a foe here. I would have lost only 20 on that one. From Kieran, of course. <laughs> Alright, Dark Eye. We'll do Dark Eyes map. How long have we been on? Half an hour? This will be a short stream, but uh, we'll, we'll, I'm feeling okay at the moment. I can go a little longer, I think. Alright, where's Dark Eye? Is Dark Eye in Vault? There's Dark Eye. <laughs> I have one for events, event units, uh, one for fodder, one for level up at some point. One for forty, but missing skills, and one for full build. Okay, well that's a good that's a good system there. Uh, I used to separate the event units. Um, I guess I still use the blue for again neutral IVs, but uh, especially in my reserve barracks, I used to have reserve barracks specifically for okay, these are GHB units and these are TT units. But then I'm like, you know what, let's just sort everything by... So my reserve barracks now, if I were to show you guys that, uh, it's basically just sorted by game or by by region. So for example, I have one box for Telius units, one box for um, Ilyas and all and Valm. I have one for uh, uh, Norshido, I guess. I'm not, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it, guys. Um, one for... Uh, Valentia. I have one for... Uh, fold in stuff like that. So, some are more filled up than others. Um, yeah. I have orange heart as special for. Oh my god. I or I use yeah yeah I use orange hearts. All right, let's see here. We're looking at. Uh, gotta look at the team or the map first. So this is dark guys map for the season. We got a Lysithia there to worry about. We do have some uh, hex traps here. I still haven't used the hex trap. I, mean, I gotta figure out how I want to use those if I can. Um, how want to go about this? The pot in the far right is gonna be really tough. I think. Does the save all team work here? I think it should. But we'll find out. Why are you wearing an orange prison highway worker? This is a polo, buddy. And a onesie. Um, so I went to the University of Illinois. Their colors are orange and blue. So generally I wear this orange polo with like a blue shirt. Although it's usually more of a navy blue. Although today I just wear this one. I don't know why. Um, actually, no, I think I wore this shirt first, but this shirt is very thin, so I was like cold. I was like, alright, I'm cold, let's put something else on. <laughs> alright, let's try the save all team. I do have double damage reduction here, so. Ah, you're doxing yourself with the polo guy. <laughs> it's the University of Illinois, it's got an enrollment of 40,000. I think, I think I'm okay. <laughs> and there's, there's plenty of people in the state of Illinois. I've already told, said that I've lived. Basically in the Chicago metropolitan area. All right, let's go. Right away. Away we go. The choice is clear. I won't lose. Um, it's fine. Hmm. Close your eyes. Let's 
see. Hey, George Rivera. Do you think Ice will give us something as far-fetched as an Ascendant Fallen Hero? An Ascendant Fallen Hero. Who fits that description? I think Lilith is the only one that fits that, right? Or no? Well, I mean, I, well, then there's, like, Base Leon in this game, but we didn't know he was... An ascended, well, he not ascended in like the gameplay sense, but like like a redeemed fallen hero until the, we got the fallen hero. That was kind of cool. The fact that he's in Chicago is well known, so being in Owen is not new knowledge unless you're really bad at geography. <laughs> uh, oh hell no! Maybe next year. I don't think Fallen Banner will have an ascendant. We'll see. I I don't think it will, but I, yeah, I don't know how many people would fit the description. I guess though they've been kind of more opening up that whole. Ascended thing because like before it was like okay here's a hero you know Joshua is of you know royal bloodline we get to see what they are as you know an actual leader um, whereas with Ishtar it's more of like a like a multi okay okay actually you know what oh, no I brought this up yesterday in terrorist chat because I was uh, I was leveling up the Ishtar and I got her level forty conversation can someone explain to me where in the timeline the the ascended Ishtar got plucked from her world whatever timeline it is where she got or when she got plucked from her timeline and put into heroes because okay spoiler alert in case you haven't like gone further in forging bonds i haven't finished forging bonds maybe that's part of it so i maybe but from what i saw in forging bonds again spoiler alert uh it seems like she knows that she dies like i don't know if this is another case of like legendary sigurd did she is she dead like Sigurd or like what's going on there or is I, because her level 40 conversation again spoiler alert it sounds like she's already done she's already gotten to a point where she's done horrible things that she wants or she's hoping that she and Julius will um uh can atone for but the forging bonds conversation makes it sound like hey I died <laughs> Uh, so public trans Chicago public transportation like CTA or Metra is dropping mass mandates. Uh, yeah, and then they're also well, that's it's because it's a national thing. I think it was a federal court case um, that said it was said that the way they went about in, uh, in, instituting the mandate uh, for public transportation, which includes airlines, uh, the way they said the way they went about it was unconstitutional. So they can appeal that. And then try and get the uh, mandate reinstated, but until then, the judge ruled that uh, it's null and void. Guys, I read an article today from multiple verified sources that because of everyone wearing masks and social distancing over the last couple of years, uh, two strains of the flu might now be extinct. Why wouldn't we want to keep doing this? <laughs> really? Can't wait for Fallen Anna. Fallen Anna. Breaking news, man who never shuts up about Chicago revealed to apparently be in Illinois. Who could have known? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Probably live in Chicago. Yeah. Uh, it's not the first time they bring someone from Seconds Before Death. True. But it sounds like she's... Like, she knows that she already died. Which I'm, co I'm confused about where in the timeline this Ishtar was pulled into this world of Asker. I seriously, I don't know how I'm gonna get the pot on the right side. Thanks, Dark Eye. I'm just kidding. Ooh, never mind. This doesn't work. Uh, I tried to buff up the, uh, the Henriette, but even with double damage reduction, I'm just overwhelmed. Okay, let's see if I can take uh, take on the map if I don't just go up right in range of everyone at the same time. Maybe I'll have to go little by little here. What's going on? With my hair. It's like feathers. Uh, Chicago Airport sucks. Uh, I usually go out of Midway. Um, but I'll occasionally go out of O'Hare. O'Hare is very crowded, though. Midway is pretty efficient. Oh, okay, to be fair, I also fly either super early in the morning or super late at night. I never fly, like, in the middle of the day, because that's just, that's just waiting for, or just, that's just asking for travel congestion. Uh, it seems like it's the, it seems like it's final map in the moment of her death. But it is a slight 
alternate universe as she is uh, she had betrayed Julius at that point behind his back. She had a voice sign up going behind his back and said he does not yet know. Okay, that I don't think I've heard yet. So in the moment of her death, like actually at So like She's literally about to die, but then gets like summoned right at the that second to uh to ask her. Boo nah, these days are gonna get me sick. This reminds me of Zelda of the Zelda. Hey Simplupa, welcome in. How does this remind you of the Zelda timeline? Hey Bellshock, did you do the new chapter? Yes, we did that yesterday. What'd you think? What'd you think? No spoilers for people that haven't played it, but... Uh, I mean, we knew that was gonna happen. Like, they're not gonna... You know. But... See, everything reminds you of Zelda, Sonic, or Mario. Like, I think nuclear fusion could eradicate... Uh, could eradicate um, Mars. Uh, and you'd come up with a comparison. What? It was something... It was something. I, I I had fun with the chapter. Again, there was nothing in that chapter that was really like, ooh, surprise. You know, ooh, turn of events or, uh, uh, what's the word I'm, what's the, the phrase I'm looking for? When they like, avert your expectations. Uh, I just arrived and heard Tanuki mention about the timeline. Yes, so we're talking about Ishtar. Like, wh where from her timeline did this Ishtar get plucked and summoned to ask her? Like, I was confused. Plot twist! Thank you, Ozbeer. See, I can't think, guys. I'm all congested. Uh, next month is Bridals. Is it? Wait, I think you're right. Are Fallen and Bridals in the same month? Because Fallen Heroes count as a new hero banner. Uh, although we usually get the the fallen banner a couple days earlier than we normally do in in the month, I should say. Like the new heroes banner, we generally get like around like the 18th or so. Um, the fallen heroes banner is like on the 9th or 10th, and that's normal. So it's weird. Uh, either that or someone in ask her from the actual timeline tells her about her death, and that's how she knows. That's true, yeah. But that seems like a bit of a stretch. I don't know if it's a bit of a stretch, but that's. It's it's more like that seems like a, the easiest and the laziest way for something like that to happen. I feel like I feel like that would be very lazy on the part of the writers. Say it already. Spoiler moment. Fallen and bridles. I think she's still fighting alongside Julius, but is sneaking out all the kids that are captured. I can see that. Yeah. No more picnic. Um, I mean, they usually change up the, like, there's usually, like, some signal that it seems like, oh, this seems out of nowhere, and they'll do that for a few years, and then they ditch it and find something else. So, maybe we'll get more picnic units, maybe not. Like, when was the last time we had a performing arts banner, you know? Uh, it was a one-time thing, replaced the kids' banner. Bridal May, it, Bridal is May, as is Fallen. Summer starts in June, so despite voice lines about brides in June, Bride Banner is May. Uh, when Makoto is about to die, she gets someone to ask her. Maybe more hot spring banners. I don't. We've had a couple of those ready, right? All right, let's try this again here. So again, we're gonna try to not get overwhelmed by everyone at once, if we can. Mm -hmm. Bum, of course. Over here? What's happening? What's happening? Sleeps, thank you for the one year sub. Time to congratulate me, guys. Well, welcome in. Thank you for that resub on the birthday of Awakening. It's that's uh, fitting that you mentioned. Congratulate me. It's Awakening's tenth birthday in Japan. It's also uh, Shadows of Valentia's fifth birthday in Japan. A lot of people are overlooking that today. Everyone's like, "Oh, Awakening, Awakening, Awakening." Some people are forgetting about Shadows of Valentia. But thank you for the resub. The resub. Well, <laughs> did you not know? That's, I thought I thought that's what you were going for with the Chrome graduate. Uh, sleeps. Um. Ooh, you got a lot of sub summons now. 
Let's see, what does that bring you up to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. That pun worked out. The sleep's all is winning today, guys. And that goes, I'm just being dumb. Uh, I can't wait for Pirate Lilith and Halloween Perry. That'd be, that could be cool. Uh, next week is Mythic. Last year was first without a dancer banner. Off topic, I know this has nothing to do with Fire Emblem, but I want to debate about Breath of the Wild timeline. Uh, Breath of the Wild breaks the Zelda timeline. I, just, I don't know what you want to debate about there. Uh, Picking has been dead for a few years. Uh, like the Guardian was created long ago. Before four champions came around. Uh, how was it created for a long time? I think that was the thing, though. Like They had that technology. Like Their civilization advanced to the point where they had that technology. But because of that technology, it was like a Terminator situation. Have you seen the movies Terminator? You guys, uh, you guys might be a bit too young for Terminator, because um, it was more popular back in back in the day. But uh, there's, a, there's a movie series called Terminator with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger before he was a governor, um, where it's like we had this like amazing technolog technologically advanced uh, future, but then we created AI that decided, hey, let's eliminate the humans, and then we were basically um, forced into hiding and and all that stuff and yeah. Ooh, we should do that for a movie night. Well, not Terminator One's okay. Terminator Two is actually fantastic. Uh, let's see here. Makoto isn't about to die. Isn't a, and about to die. I think she's creation made by Loki from Baby Azur's mind of her ideal version of Makoto. That's what the entire drip banner was. Uh, sorry, sorry I'm not here. <laughs> that pun worked out. Um, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see. Still waiting for Bridal Lucina and like Yeah, we don't have Lucina yet, even though we have Lucina in a wedding gown for four years. Um, it's kind of effed up that Azur's ideal version of, Cam of Camilla is the exact opposite of Camilla. <laughs> like, how much does someone have to hate their sewing for that to happen? Or maybe they just... They... They love them and want the best for them and know that their current choices in life is maybe not the best. Take this, Crom voice. Uh, I've never seen Terminator. It's it, Terminator 2 is, is fantastic. Terminator 1 is... It, it's good to watch to set, it, to set up the second one, but... And then you can just ignore everything after that, the second movie. <laughs> Like, 3 is okay. It's not, like, the worst thing ever. It's it's pretty bad, but you watch the other Terminators, and it's like, ooh, 3 is three's a, a piece of art. Uh, Zelda Warriors games combined the 3 timeline, so despite Nintendo saying it's not canon, it's the only way Breath of the Wild makes sense. Uh, oh god, that creepy redead emoji. And Tinkle versus The initial Hyrule Warriors combines all three. Da, da. Respondent Azura coming up. Uh, the little confused me like how the how Guardians kept around for 10,000 years. They would end up already being rusted. Weren't they made of mostly stone? And magic? Uh, I've only seen Genesis and Dark Fate. Oh, you gotta watch the originals, Boshock. Like, one and two. Genesis and Dark Fate... Um... <laughs> See, I heard, I heard Dark Fate was trying to, like, ignore everything bad after the second one and like be like all right this is the, this is the true timeline of the terminator movies um like almost like a like a partial reboot but i've heard it was not great and then genesis i think i heard okay things about movie wise but in terms of like advancing the terminator story was not all that great um so yeah if if, if you guys want at some point we can maybe watch terminator one and two uh, cause two is, two is a masterpiece. Um, Bush actually is one of the earliest respondents, but also high, though, high sleeps. <laughs> um, oh, Atri winning some gold. Look at that. Atri, Atri, your curse has ended. Uh, ancient tech is basically magic is a common trope in fiction. Yeah. <laughs> Originals kind of sucked. I prefer old gray hair, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, three sucked. But again, in hindsight, it's like Home Alone 3. You know, it was not a great movie. Terminator 3 was not a great movie. However, after you see the stuff that came after it, it's like, wow, 3 is actually not that bad. Not that bad. 
Uh, Christian's the new John Connor. You missed out. I mentioned about the princess wearing a farmer outfit from a banner in Mario Kart Tour. All right, let's finish this map here if we can. Again, we're gonna try to like not get in range of everyone at the same time here. How am I gonna get the pot in the top Close right? right away. Why not? The choice is clear. Bum, bum. Okay. See, see, this is uh, this is tricky here. Oh, I'll do it. Yes, of Why course. Not? Yeah. Turn on three. Over here. All right, let's see if we survive. We have to deal with three range units, including a uh, Claude here. Oof. 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 All right, we survived. We survived. I won't lose. I can take out the Thesir. This is turn four, so I can come back to where I am. Uh... Is something afoot? Over here. But how am I gonna get the pot on the other? Oh shoot! Yeah, I probably shouldn't have pulled up because now Makaya dies, right? I will go. Close your eyes. What now? Okay, yeah, I don't I was gonna swap so that Edelgard could break this, but I don't want them to swap. Because here, Claude can't attack Henriette directly right now. Uh, and then Fjorm can't uh, directly attack the Edelgard. You basically want them to save and not be attacked directly. Um, let's see here. Oh, I missed some chat. Sorry. Uh, makes sense. Which princess? Might have missed out a lot. It's been a week. Sounds quite interesting. Um, Dark Sekiram, welcome in. How have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. Does anyone know how close, or does anyone know how any close counter esque or speedy builds for Julius that one can run? Ooh, that might be a question for the Discord, so people can like post build ideas. I'm sure people built some Juliuses. Uh, oh, thank you for the hydrate and posture check. Low shock. Wasn't the recent home? Uh, wasn't the recent home once? Anything after three is basically like garbage. Uh, three is actually not great, but it's not awful. So there were, I think there's six movies, if I'm not mistaken. Can someone check that? So Home Alone 1, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, Home Alone 3, I think Taking Back the House. Or wait, was that... I think that was it. Home Alone... F or maybe 4 was Taking Back the House. 4 tried to reboot the original characters and story, and I was like, oh my god, I hate this movie. It's ruining the originals for me. Um, Kaizen argues that it can't ruin the originals, but it, it kind of does. Um, 5, I've never even bothered watching. I think it's like Holiday Heist or something like that. And then six is the brand new one that's on Disney Plus, or that premiered on Disney Plus, and I'm like, yeah, no interest in watching it. Uh, all right, time to work and go back to nap. All right, we probably won't be on too much. Uh, I thought Home Alone 3 was last series. So there's six movies. Three was, I think, the last theatrical release. Four, five, and six were all... Uh, well, four and five were direct-to-video, and then six was Disney Plus. Uh, why is it sucks? Because they're, they're not good. I think it was a reboot. It made no sense from the original movie. Three? Uh, three? No, it wasn't a reboot. It was just like a different... Um, it was a different character, different uh, family, and all that stuff. So it wasn't a reboot. Four tried to reboot the original family, and I'm like, you people are awful for doing that, or trying to do that. Um, 
Wish there would be a lore like why is there suddenly Yiga? Oh, that's, oh yeah. Like, did Hyrule mistreat them and they end up starting a revolution? Have you played the, uh, the Hyrule Warriors games, some Lupa? Uh, or are you waiting until after you play uh, Breath of the Wild? I play some Switch later. Don't worry, I'll be back. Okay, no worries. Uh, busy working, playing other games mostly. Okay, okay, no worries. That's cool though. That yeah, I, I, a lot of people have been busy lately, with not just work or, but sometimes like with school. So I'm just waiting for the school year to end. For, again, for those that don't know, I'm a teacher. Uh, I got about a month and a half left. Yeah, about a month and a half. I'm just waiting for the end of the year, and then I get a little bit of break before March Man season starts. Um, but yeah, Julius uh, builds. I, I'm sure people. I, I haven't built a Julius, um, but I'm sure someone in our. I'm sure a few people in our uh, community probably have. So that might be something to post on our Discord. Remember, guys, if you need the Discord link, exclamation point Discord, if you haven't joined. I uh, wonder why they always leave Kevin behind. <laughs> For Home Alone, I prefer the original two. Yeah, the original two are, are fantastic. The original two Home Alone movies. Um, like I said, three, by comparison to those two, was was kind of awful. But after you see all the stuff that came after three, three's honestly not that bad. I believe, I believe Home Alone 3 was Scarlett Johansson's first feature film so she's was she like the big sister or something in there i can't remember but yeah she uh, that was i think that was her first feature film and i think her first acting role was actually on uh late night with conan o'brien uh you see bad parenting oh my god you know the McAllister family is uh, the setting is chicago so and then like the house that the the original McAllister family lived in in home alone one and two uh, that's actually a house in the Chicago area. Like people will go to that house and visit and take pictures. On the outside, it's it's an actual house, so people actually live there. But uh, people will often visit on the street and then be like, "Oh, that's the Home Alone house. Let's take pictures." Uh, no worries. I'm about to finish the game soon since I started back in 2022. What do you mean back in 2022? Sim Blupa. You know we're in 2022. First DLC. Home Alone 3 was Home Alone Gaiden. <laughs> Sex story. That's kind of true, actually. And then Vola, you mean Voila, V O I L A. Uh, Age of Calamity. Yeah, Age of Calamity. We've gone for a while. When I finished Breath of the Wild, oops, I mean I started back in 2020. Okay, typo. Okay. I was like, back in 2022. Wait a second. So I don't know how this will work, uh, but my idea is something along the lines of a solo, attack speed solo, um, beast filler. Okay. See, Rouse attacks, Rouse attack speed four and Phantom Res seal. Uh, what's Julius's res? Uh, without the Phantom Res, what's their base res, or what's your Julius's res? What's Scarjo, please? Yeah, I believe uh, I believe she plays like the big sister or something. Let me look this up. Hold on, because actually, uh, I think I might have seen Home Alone three like maybe twice. I think I think I've, I know I've seen it once, but I've not seen it as nearly as often as I've seen one and two. Because like one and two used to be on TV all the time. I'm sure it's still on TV. I don't know at the time during the holidays, but I don't watch regular TV anymore. Uh, Home Alone three. Well, the wiki here. There's a 1997 American comedy film, yada yada yada, uh, starring. It only has two names in the cast there. Uh, in the side, cast, uh, yada, 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 yada yada. Scarlett Johansson as Molly Pruitt, the older sister of Alex, and Alex is Alex Pruitt, an eight-year-old boy, the star of the, the movie. So yes, Scarlett Johansson plays the main character's older sister. No one requests that for movie night, please, 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 please. Also, is this set during Christmas season two? Uh, probably. At least the release date, December 12th, and looks like there's talk about a snow fort in the plot. Alright, uh, let me guess this. People from Hatino Village were the reason they got mistreated from their parents. Uh, and for Hyrule Castle, I'm guessing they got exiled, like, got banned and never entered again. Something like that, maybe. Seems legit to me. No feathers or trait upgrades, so currently 44. Okay. I mean... I guess Phantom Res could come in handy. Um, I'm not sure if you're using that for... 
like skill activation or just to throw off your opponents or uh, more and more high res units are coming out and if anything beats it I lose out on DR from prefer okay okay that okay that makes more sense so that yeah that, that build could work what are you thinking for the B skill uh, my game through they're freaking pissed like they want to kill me from Master Co no they do that yeah they do that shoots an arrow with ice or fire or bomb and then arrow will be gone you fool gameplay yeah I wish I used to give out more dragon flowers to work with. I never are never enough to use. Actually, Kaizen uh, was uh, uh, finding out yesterday that uh, Arena Assault gives out dragon flowers, and they didn't know that. So, because that's what you can think for a little bit now. Arya, welcome in. How are you doing today? Um, this stream probably won't go on super long, although we're on a lot longer than I've already like expected to be. Um, a little under the weather for not like sick, but like just allergies, but. Uh, you asking not to have it requested is just going to make people work. No, they're not. I s no. Uh, talking to the people who use points and bits to type. No, but that's the thing, though, that people do on Twitch. Yeah, I did the arena assault thing already for that. I'm alright. I had a bit of an ordeal. Oh, Are we okay now? Is there anything we can help with? Why do I email? Hold on, what is this? Uh-oh, it's a Japanese email that I can't read. Uh, now I'm curious. I bought a lot of stuff from Japanese retailers lately, and I now get emails that I can't read. Hold on. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Like, uh, is this from one of the retailers? It looked like it said, like, gamers. Oh, there is a, yeah, okay. So they didn't charge me yet, according to my spreadsheet. Wait. Oh, this is a recommendation email, and they're recommending. Oh, they're recommending recommending the tea sets for me. Oh. Didn't realize those were not sold out yet. Okay. No, but I already have those. I don't need those. All right. Uh. Be saw honestly not sure so far. Want to do a poll then for movie night? Uh, well, this week's movie, guys. Uh, on, on, because obviously tomorrow is, unless you're in the Eastern Hemisphere, in which case today, uh, is the Fire Emblem anniversary, 32nd anniversary of Fire Emblem. Um, so today, on the 19th, is actually the uh, anniversary of Awakening. And then uh, tomorrow we've got uh, several other games, like, you know, Path of Radiance and Shadow Dragon Blade of Light celebrating anniversaries. So it's the 32nd anniversary of the first game. And to celebrate this weekend, normally it'd be a Marvel week, but what we're going to do is we're going to flip-flop this week and next week. So this week we're going to be watching the two episodes of the Fire Emblem anime. So it's only a one-hour movie night then, but we get to watch both episodes. Uh, I actually thought that the anime was pretty good. Two episodes, though. So we'll watch that uh, this weekend. So again, that'll be a Discord movie night after our stream Saturday night. So make sure you join the Discord, guys. Um, and then uh, since we're flip-flopping, the next two weeks will be... I believe the next two weeks will be Marvel. So let me check the schedule real quick. Um... Yeah, this week Fire Emblem OVA, uh, the 30th will be Spider-Man Homecoming, and then the 7th of May will be Thor Ragnarok. Uh, we catch up. Ordeals are tough. Never, I never forget I snuck into the Yiga hideout. Like, that was brutal. It's a fun time. Uh, one thing you need, a translator. Yeah, I got my pull one up. Uh, I'm dead when I'll get DLC soon, since I'm going back into the Yiga hide hideout to rip me. Sung into Boeing and Booby Trapped your escape plane. Not really, but can I show you something? Yeah, sure, feel free. Um, I guess I'll die then. Yeah, we also have the anniversary for the game that got me started. I love Awakening. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, Awakening was, was very well polished, I'll say that. Which made the lack of polish on Fates kind of apparent. But Mars, well done. Five points. Five points. <laughs> I like that emote there. Hehe. <laughs> Why can't Fire Emblem be a live action movie? Uh, do we think that would be good? I feel like there's a lot of potential for Fire Emblem to be good, but I also feel like there's a lot of potential for them to ruin it. <laughs> so I don't know if I would want them to risk. It was rather easy. Thoughts on QR or no follow up? Hmm. What's Julius's HP? I would lean NFU, but what's their... Hmm. 
Okay, so let me see here. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. The choice is clear. Why not? Still, uh, this might be bad because uh, I think Makai is in range. Oh, never mind. Okay, we're fine for the moment, but I still don't know if I can get that pot on the far, the far side there, guys. Actually, this is completely oh, useless to have you there. Um, uh oh, this is not good, guys. How am I gonna get the pots? Away we go. What if I just move everyone up? I can maybe like finagle my way over there. Okay. The choice is clear. What it just now? ends their turn, right? Yeah. Okay, now uh, we're in trouble. Uh, let's see, forty-seven currently. This is due to summer support. I still don't have flower investment. If that, uh, I would go. I would go end a few between those two then. Uh, I thought Fire Emblem is bad, but now there is going to be a movie about it. Smash Toxic fans and anti-Fire Emblem people rush. <laughs> They're going to be like, well, how come Fire Emblem gets all the Nintendo movies? But guys, we're getting a Mario movie and more. <laughs> Never have a live-action Fire Emblem movie. It would just be awful. I don't want another Last Airbender or Netflix Death Note. <laughs> this is what would happen if Fire Emblem movie will get announced. Maybe Paramounts, where they made Sonic, can actually do it. Eh, eh. Okay, thank you very much. Hopefully this can work out somewhat for me. Yeah, and again, I would uh, maybe share that on our Discord too, because other people might have some suggestions. But based on uh, uh, what I, what you mentioned earlier, again, I think those uh, your A, C, and then your seal work out, and between those two, between those two options at least for B skill, I would go in a few, because it's QR doesn't seem like it'd be the best route. Uh, as a smasher, I'm totally offended, <laughs> but I'm challenging to 1v1 with the Great Cave offensive using hammers only. Ooh. Guys, <laughs> okay, so are we not getting the second pot? Dang it. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Over here? The thing is, I can't pull back now. Um, if I wanted to get the pot. Tread carefully. Can I get this? And then, like, surround the Claude with everyone else here, maybe? So I'm going to bump Regan up here. Break this, and I'll end up here. I can... Right away. Yes, of course. The choice is clear. See, what I need is I need to I need to get what now? Henriette over here to protect, or maybe on this side is that possible though? Actually, I think it is. Hold on. So what I can do? Oh uh, shoot! Maybe not. Hold on. Catch up. Come on, I didn't refer to you in general. How many people come with swords? Nothing to know. Their partnership with Illumination probably beat them, which would be one of the worst adaptations ever. Illumination puts no effort into their movies and just tries to appeal to five year olds. That sounds miserable. Lapson, I don't. Lapson doesn't have online. How are you getting the DLC? I uh, guess it's all the way up north to Sims' neighborhood just to act petty with Ganondorf. Or it's time. Okay. Solution. Abduct and force them to play local Smash. Hey, that's how we used to do it back in my day. Okay, well, I went ahead and posted on Discord, but thanks for pre Yeah, no problem. Absolutely happy to help. 
happy, happy, happy to help. All right, how are we doing this? Is something afoot? Right away. Tread carefully. Over here? Why not? We should have healed her first, but oh well. Yes. <laughs> of course. Well, I don't want to break that. Oh, but then he heals. What now? I will go. I don't think we're we'll getting this pot, guys. Choice is clear. Oh, that's a lot of damage we're not able to right do here, guys. Away we go. I won't lose. Ooh, that doesn't work. I can't get the pot. And say if I go here, I can use Wings of Mercy to close your eyes go above Henriette's and dance, but I'm not, I don't have the range. If this was someone with uh, gray waves, I could maybe get to the pot. Um, played days since 2018. Some loop, but watch the language. Remember, I'm a teacher. Sometimes students come in here. <laughs> uh, drive all the way up. Okay. No, I sleep so... Guys, language. Language. So far, all the stuff we've been getting in uh, relation to FE4-5, really hoping that they make a full-blown remake soon with the original story as well as maybe some alternate paths for different closures. I cannot comment on that, but that's a cool um, uh, wish. <laughs> uh, Daisy has firepower, though. Oh, sorry. Yeah, well, guys, just watch the language. Again, you're not in trouble. But again, because I am a teacher, um, I get students that sometimes come in here. So we want to watch our language just in case. They shouldn't be here because, uh, well, unless I guess the older ones are old enough for Twitch, but the other ones are not, so I've got to be careful. Um, I won't lose. Tread carefully. We're not damaging them enough. This is not good, guys. Hmm. Damage him quite a bit there, but we die. Yes, <laughs> Freaking Mystic Boost. Let's see, and you have Dead Eye. The choice is clear. Arya, are you still here? What was the thing you wanted to show me? Or was it the emote? Because that emote was pretty cool. Uh, Daisy has firepower so far. Oh, let's see. Hilda? Oh, hey, Nuts fan! Hilda. Yes, we have two Hildas now in the game. Gonna pull my three treatment since because, you know, in today in game society. Wait, what? This was during the Wii era at the time we would get luck. Last year was uh, Genealogies. 25th anniversary. Um, Thracia's 25th anniversary is not for another two years. Uh, if you want to swear, just use other languages. Uh, no, Kaizen, actually. <laughs> Some other master of closure is really good. Uh, lucky? Well, I can only hope maybe someday it'll happen. We got two Arthur. Oh, that's. Do we? I think you're right. Uh, Fates in FE4. 
You're right. I totally forgot about Fates, Arthur. Uh, ready for Daisy and Mario Kart Tour? <laughs> yes, please. Alright. Uh, I think Dark Eyes got me beat here. Um, didn't account for Mystic Boost on Claude. Right away. So I can beat him, but I would really like to get that pot. I will go. Do it. Speak. Is there a way for me to somehow hmm. see if you had Wings of Mercy you could nudge Regan I think. Well, hold on. <laughs> so I can kill the Claude. I can't get the other pot. If I had to dance with Grey Waves, I have this beat. Um, but yeah, as it is, this is an issue. What now? Yeah, I've got Iceberg proc, that's why. So I can beat the Claude, but I can't get the pot. Now, if I had planned a little bit better from the beginning, I probably could have had uh, someone like maybe Elamine start moving toward the right. Because we did manage to successfully trap the Claude, but... Yes, of course. Alright, well then, Dark Guy, in terms of preventing me from getting a pot. <sighs> Never played the Mother series. I need to play the Mother series, like the Earthbound series. Maybe over the summer. I want to finish the games on our current backlog. So we've got... Um, Age of Calamity, we've got uh, 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 Hat in Time, Skyward Sword. I mean, I've beaten Skyward Sword in the past, but just not the HD version. Um, Mario Odyssey. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other things. I want to start playing those Final Fantasy games. Actually, I, I will I will confess, I strongly consider today just being like... Because today we, uh, we didn't have much going on in Faye, and I actually haven't marked in the calendar for today's Switch. Um, I was like, you know what? What if I just hopped on and said, you know what? I feel like starting Final Fantasy X. Well, let's just do it. <laughs> but again, because I'm feeling a little under the weather because of allergies, I'm like, eh, never mind. Let's just do GHB and end. So, If you moved Flane, instead of waiting and had Elmine take your spot, you could have used Flane to break the... Uh, wait, hold on. Move Flane. No, I needed... You're right. No, I could have done that because I I, had, I broke the uh, healing tower with Flame from where she was. I could have moved, moved Elamine up. I could have had Flame attack it from the right. Yes, I could have done that. Thank you, Kaizen. So yeah, there was a way then to beat that with uh, the pots as well. So so hopefully Dark Eye is watching the VOD and I uh, can get something uh, out of that that can help them. Uh, tweak and improve for the week but I think we're gonna wrap things up guys again I want to see if I can get to bed on time tonight and get some proper rest where do we is, is Katie back on she went offline earlier um, let's go there they don't hear a fan of Persona 5 have you guys met Katie? I think she was here, yes. No, the day before, the day before. Alright, guys. Some Lupa? Copy the submarine command. Everyone copy the submarine command. Let me do so on my alt as well. Have you guys met Katie? I can't remember if you guys have or not. Alright, um... Raid. There's a random X in the name. I gotta make sure I get that in the right spot. Um, I'm gonna die now. Thank you forever. All right. Um, abusing Waluigi time. Well, copy the raid command first. Some Lupo. As usual, guys. Discord or Fire Emblem anime on Saturday, and then social media, and then um um. If you don't have the Hildebonk, you can use the regular raid command. 
but again, preferably use the subway command. All right, guys, I'm out. I'm gonna get some sleep. You guys have a good rest of your night. Go say hi to Katie. Playing Persona. Persona. All right, bye guys. Have a good one.